stealth grows have always had its place in the grow community. And while it's a lot of fun to DIY one of these from scratch, it either always takes a ton of research, tools, and work to have it come out as clean and functional as a normal grow tent setup, or if you cut corners, then it might be easier to build, but require a lot of compromises and probably is not as functional as your typical grow setup. And that's where these DIY kits come in, by including all the core components needed in a grow space. So that's lights, an exhaust fan, and a temperature humidity gauge, and then tying them all together into a Wi-Fi controller. You can use these base kits to customize any space into a grow space without the need to figure out how each component will work together. Not to mention the added quality of life benefits of being able to control all of your components via an app. So yeah, I'm really excited to try this one out and I'll be throwing it all together into a cardboard box to see how it comes together. This box is give or take 2x2x2 two by two by two feet, which is pretty much as small as you'd want to go with the grow space. And with the 6 LED light panels totaling around 90 watts, a 2x2 two two grow space is a good size for this amount of light output. I'm going to be keeping this as simple as possible since this is more of a test run with this type of kit before putting it into something more permanent like a cabinet. So for this build, I'll be using things such as zip ties, tape, and a hot glue gun so that I can easily take it apart after testing it out for one or two growth cycles. For easy access to the grow space, I'm first cutting the inner flaps of the box down so I don't have to open two sets of flaps each time to access the plants. I'm not cutting the entire flap off though, since by leaving a small strip at the top and the bottom, this will help prevent light leaks once I tape it to the rest of the box. I'm arranging the lights where I want them to be and then I'll be marking the holes that I need to drill into the top of the box. Now to hold the lights in, I'll just be using zip ties. Know that for the zip ties, I'll be using multiple of them and leaving them quite loose. This way I can put something in between the light and the cardboard box to give it some space for air to pass through and that'll allow everything to be a little bit cooler. The thing I found around the house that looks pretty heat resistant and is flat are these plant clips. So I'll just be placing these in between the light and the roof of the cardboard box as a spacer before tightening the zip ties to lock it all in place. Once everything is in place, I'll just cut the ends of the zip ties so that it's not poking out. To power the lights, I'll be making these holes below each LED board to pass through the power cord. Now I just need to snap it on, and then to secure all the cables in place, I'll just be using masking tape. I'm marking a hole where the blower is going to exhaust the air out, to which I'm going to cut it out. I'll lock in both the blower fan as well as the temperature and humidity probe in place with some hot glue. And I'm going to have the wires connected to these two devices to exit out the box in the same gap as the exhausted air just to minimize the holes I need to cut into the box. I'm going to place the controller in the back middle of the box. And since the controller has some holes in it for mounting, I can just use zip ties to set it in place as well. Okay, everything's done, so now it's just a matter of plugging everything into the controller.
This looks pretty good, but the wires are still all over the place. So we can tidy it up by tying the cables together. This fan didn't come with the kit, but because the controller is able to accept and power two additional PC fans, I bought one to use for double duty as both an intake fan as well as a fan for the plant. This kit is powered via a 24 volt power adapter. So if you're looking to include additional fans with this kit, be sure to get the 24 volt PC fan with the two pin plug. I'll just be cutting the holes I need to lock the fan in place. Now I'll just use the screw and nut that came with the fan to lock it in. I used the flaps that I cut off to hide the cables on top of the box. And since there's no cables coming out from the side of the box, if I placed it against the wall, from the outside, this looks exactly like a normal box when closed. I use some velcro tape to close the front lid, and obviously this isn't light proof, but it does give me quick access to the plants when I need it and is very easy to open and close. Of course, if I wanted to block out the light, I'll need a more elaborate solution. But for now, I'll just be growing some autos in this box, so there's no real need to light proof the front. The app took a bit to get everything to link together, but once it's set up, this grow space is now super easy to maintain. And that's it. 